Hi guys, I'm using a molded stone from Happy Dotting Company's Multi Mold. It's round and flat. I've painted it black, two coats of black paint and let it dry. And then I've done a gold frame around the outside using a compass. Um, I've linked a couple of videos below where I've done the same frame so that you don't miss out on that part because I literally lost that whole section of the video um, while editing. So I apologize for that, um, but I have linked in the description a couple of videos where I do the same black background with the gold frame. You can watch that part and then come back on over to this one and pencil out a pansy. You guys have seen my other pansy tutorial. If not, I will link that in the description below. The only difference is this isn't going to be on a real stone. This is a molded stone for those of us who struggle to find beautiful stones all year long. Um, but also, this one's going to be not done with all acrylic paint. It's going to be gold and watercolors. Uh, the glittery metallic kind that you know I love. Um, I'm going to be putting out a couple more tutorials this week, so stay tuned. Um, I'm going to kind of alternate between dotted and not dotted. So the next one that's coming out will be dotted. This one is not. Um, now, I've sped this up, obviously, guys. So take your time. Pansies have like five, four very visible petals in what I can see when, when I look with my little eyeballs. <laughs> um yeah, there's four very visible petals and then one hiding behind. So that's what I've done at the top left. Um, and then I'm just doing a couple of sprigs of leaves. Um, they're going to kind of spill over the frame. Um, I'm going to work with that frame after I've done the flower. So we will go back to it. It's super boring right now. Um, but we're going to pretty it up, I promise you. If you saw the thumbnail you know I'm telling the truth. <laughs> I have missed you guys again, even if it wasn't a long break like it was last time because I fell down the stairs. Um, I'm healing. It's still painful. I probably did crack, break, fracture something <laughs> in the tailbone area, um, but I'm, I'm working on it. I'm getting better continuing to work out, which is really, I think, kept me feeling strong through it. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to keep pushing. Keep pushing and try not to sit on it for too long at a time. <laughs> so basically all I've done now is cleaned it up. It's I've penciled on the pansy. I've covered my pencil with gold, got rid of everything I didn't want and erased it all. Um, now we're left with this. And that's when we get to fill it with color. Now I'm today gonna be using none of my watercolors. I'll be using Yuli watercolors from Etsy. It's the mini master set. Uh, you do you, however. <laughs> you do not have to go purchase anything anywhere. And if you already have beautiful metallic watercolors at home, they could even be the ones that I've created and sold in my shop. Um, but you do you. That's all that matters. Uh, and Or you can use acrylic paint. It's totally up to you as well. I'm only going to be using a couple of different colors. So you might even have like glitter paint uh, in your, in your uh, inventory that are close to the same colors that I'm going to be using today. And you could do this all in glitter paint. So it's totally up to you. You can do it in dots as well. Um, this is just something that I did on a mirror, a compact that I sold in my Etsy shop and it looked really, really pretty and it came across my feed and I was like, hmm, I wonder if you guys would like to see this. So I'm recreating one, not on a compact, but on a stone. So I'm using blue, bluish purple and purple and these do color shift. So I will show you at the end um, what it shifts to, I'll show you in a couple of pictures because it's it's really, really pretty. Um, and pansies come in all different flavors. So you don't have to do your pansy in the same colors that I'm doing either. 
Um, but this is just what I'm working with. And I have sold a lot of these very similar colors of my handmade watercolor paints. Um, so you might already have them if you if you have purchased those from me. You might already have the perfect colors to do this pansy with me. Um, so right now it's just gold, um, blue, bluish purple, and I'll be adding a little bit more purple in there, like a, a more vibrant purple. But because it's watercolor, it kind of blends in really nice. Um, notice I'm using a water pen or a water brush, but I'm not actually filling it up with water. I'm dipping it in water because I find too much comes out um, and I can't control it. And it's hard to work with that on a stone, especially if it's curved in any way or it's bumpy or the paint wants to travel, if you know what I'm saying. So um, this luckily is a nice flat one. And uh, but I am just dipping in a little lid of distilled water. I use distilled water as often as I can, if it's available to me, um, on my paint. So it's just something I was told to do, and I've stuck with it, and I don't even know why. <laughs> <laughs> so as you can see, I'm just using the same colors. I'm There's like a burst of yellow coming from the center of the pansy. Um depending on what color pansy you want to do, of course. Um, it's hard to really see the beauty of this um, in this horrible lighting that I brought us into. Uh, hopefully, I'll be able to capture the real beauty of this at the end in the resin reveal. So stay tuned and hit the like button and hit the share button and uh, say thanks as well if you if you want there's a thanks button um, and it's kind of like a tip jar for the creator which is me so that is also available new to Canadian creators um, and thank you to anyone who has hit that thanks button and given me a tip um, very much appreciated at this time uh, always appreciated but very much at this time so thank you thank you so much um, also to anyone who has sent me PayPal I really appreciate you um, being off unable to work as much as what I love to um, because of falling down the stairs it's hurt me financially of course so thank you thank you I don't want to mention anyone's names I don't want to do that to anybody just in case it comes back to bite me in the end. Um, but yes, thank you. You know who you are. And I really appreciate that. So what I've done is I've colored in my flower. Right now it looks more blue and yellow. Kind of like a mess. Um, it doesn't look as pretty as what it's going to. But around the edge in the frame, I'm actually using the same exact colors that I've used throughout the flower. So yellow, purple, blue, green. And so that's going all the way around the edge. Actually, I didn't put yellow in there. <laughs> I left the yellow for the center of the pansy. I thought it was important. So just green, blue, purplish blue, and purple. And now, once everything is dry, it didn't look like I let it dry, but there was a pause there. <laughs> but due to my magical editing, you didn't even notice that I let the entire stone dry before I started outlining with black. I'm separating all those petals from one another. Even if it overlaps and goes onto that border, that's okay. We can work around it. Make sure that you're outlining that spare petal at the back, um, as well as your leaves. And yes, they're going right over top of that, that border, and that's okay. It's gonna look like this pansy is blooming out of this beautiful dial frame that we're going to create. So everything's outlined. Make sure you go back with your gold as well, just in case, um, like I'm doing, because sometimes it does get swallowed up by the watercolors or the black, um, but you still want to see that beautiful gold. So go back over it. Make sure your black is dry. Um, it's always just, it saves a lot less frustration to wait till it's dry, even if you're impatient like me. <laughs> just a little tip. 
a little tip from me. <laughs> um, once again, if you did not want to use watercolors for this, you don't have to. You could do it dotted. So start in the center with like a nice golden yellow um, and dot it out to a beautiful purplish blue and then to a purple. Just dot away. Do what you want with it. It will look beautiful no matter what. And someone reminded me of something I said in a video recently about how um, even if you just pick up the paintbrush every day, just pick it up and paint something small every day, you will get better no matter what. So practice really does make you better. And that's why I am where I am now. So as long as you keep going, you're going to be where I am now very, very soon. So just keep painting. That's why I always say keep painting. You will get better. It's just, it's inevitable. <laughs> um, so now with the dial. You guys have seen me do this before. I'm sure there's going to be one in the description of this video um, that has a dial frame as well. Basically, I start with one line of gold at the top, one at the bottom, one at the left, one at the right. Then I go in the middle of those and I keep going around and around until I'm happy with how far apart my little notches are or, or pinstripes. I'll call them pinstripes. Um, but in the end, it kind of looks like a dial, but it's, it's just a frame. It's just a frame that I'm obsessed with and I've been doing it since the very beginning. So it just kind of goes <laughs> with my stuff. Um, so if you see a frame like this, it's probably, they learned it from me. <laughs> I love the color behind it too. Like the, the graduated change of colors and stuff. Um, it's just my favorite. It's my favorite. Now that I have pinstriped everything, I'm going to make sure that I haven't gone over any lines. I might remove some gold in some places because it's too thick. Uh, I'm just checking everything over. It's kind of like editing your work before you send it to the boss. Um, and for me, the boss is, is resin. <laughs> so I've got to edit my work, make sure it looks the way I want it to before we uh, send it off to its resin bath. Now we do need to finish the center and we got to work on some, looks like hair, but it's not. It's just part of the pansy. And I'm gonna slow it down so that you can see. I'm just using my fine lining brush and I'm like wisping carefully, trying not to get the black in the center, but we can go back and fix that anyway. You can cover it with all black again and put the gold back on there and start fresh. Just let it all dry and be patient with yourself. So you can take a look at some pansy pictures on the internet and see what kind of design you want to do. Um, I'm just kind of giving it a black, hairy, <laughs> hairy design. Um, that's what I see when I see my favorite color of pansies. So yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to do. And I think it looks pretty. <laughs> so I'm going to fix it, make sure I didn't go over any lines. I got to bring my gold back in there. And I think I like it. I'm only putting the black on those three front petals. Because that's just what I see. Just doing what I see. And it looks pretty, right? Nobody's going to judge. It looks pretty and glittery. And that's all that matters. <laughs> I'm going to put a little vein down the center of my my leaves and if you feel that you need more leaves or bigger leaves or a different shape go for it it's ready for its resin bath i'm going to show you a couple of things and we'll be back soon i don't have a whole lot to show you guys at my desk at the moment because i don't want to ruin any future tutorials that are coming out um so here is something i've incorporated my uh, dots, my watercolors, um, inspirational wording, um, as well as the chrome dragonfly body parts. You guys have seen me do that on my tutorials. This one, you guys have seen me do a similar one, but with dots and a dragonfly um, and some flowers. These are all done with the 
watercolors again these ones are mine my watercolors um, I will be putting more watercolors in the shop very soon so stay tuned for that I'm hoping it will be in the next couple of days um, so nothing else on my desk I'll just show you my kids playing in the pool um, this is my youngest water baby he is eight <laughs> And he absolutely loves the water and loves making faces when I ask him to smile. <laughs> but he's happy. He's a good kid. Then there's my oldest male water baby. <laughs> this is Landon. And he also doesn't like to smile when I ask him to smile because that's just how he is. <laughs> I love my boys. Oh, and uh, my fingernails. <laughs> I didn't know what else to show you guys today. So back to the rock we painted. There it is. <laughs> it is gorgeous. And you'll be able to see a shift in color when I tilt the camera down. It changes slightly, but still beautiful. Still magical. <laughs> It's got two coats of resin on it because the first coat had um, a hair that rested on it overnight and I didn't know. So I had to <laughs> remove the hair and re-resin. But guess what? It turned out pretty nice. Let me know what you guys think of it in the comments below. Um, and if you want to see more like this, let me know as well. I do have a dotted tutorial coming out in two days and then another one coming out after that you guys I have been busting my bottom for you guys so I can't wait to keep painting with you guys don't forget keep painting right you'll get better no matter what I know that's my plan I will see you guys again soon love you bye